There's new controversy in the nation's capital, of course, where else? The Justice Department now defending the summary of the Mueller report. The pushback is in response to reporting today that investigators on Mueller's staff are not happy with William Barr's handling of it. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is live with the details. Catherine, I'm surprised that it took them so long to actually say this, if this was actually how they feel. Well, that's right. Well, this morning, the Justice Department really went on offense, on the offense, rather, Dana, taking issue with these media accounts that the Mueller report contains summaries that were releasable. And the statement reads, in part, every page of the confidential report provided to Attorney General Barr on March 22, 2019, was marked may contain material protected under federal rule criminal procedure. That's the acronym there, 6E, a law that protects confidential grand jury information and therefore could not be publicly released. After the New York Times reported some special counsel investigators told associates that their findings are far more negative than Barr's four-page summary, the president tweeted, quote, the New York Times had no legitimate sources, which would be totally illegal concerning the Mueller report. In fact, they probably had no sources at all. White House press secretary had even more. The people that have been involved in this process, they've wasted two years of their life and they need to find a way to validate it. They've lost in 2016, they lost on the collusion battle, and now they're looking for any and everything they can to continue to attack this president because they have no message. Separately, letters obtained by Fox News show Republican Senators Grassley and Graham alerted Attorney General Barr last month that congressional investigators uncovered evidence of potential, quote, improper political influence, misconduct, and mismanagement in the Russia probes. Fox News understands the senators wanted Barr to have this information before he reviewed Mueller's findings, Dana. Catherine Erich, thank you.